One evening, Tim and Dexter were waiting at a red signal for a landslide to be cleared. Kaz and Zephyr were also there too. Well, since we have time to kill, who's up for a ghost story? Oh, have I got one for you! So a long time ago- Oh, spare me the history lesson, will ya? Yeah, I can see where this is going. Fine. Say it and get it over with. A long time ago, there was a little tank engine named Timothy. He was a kind old engine and was painted silver, which glittered in the moonlight. He had red stripes and the number zero. Man, I guess he really was nothing to know if he had the number zero. Right. Anyways, let me finish my story. One night, Timothy was pulling a passenger train. The moon shone brightly, and the signal showed green. But this night was none other than Halloween. And scary things happen on Halloween. As Timothy approached the last station, it happened. Timothy surged forward so fast, his driver and fireman were knocked backwards. His driver tried to apply the brakes, but Timothy would not comply. The conductor tried to apply the manual brakes in the brake coach, but they too were unresponsive. All of a sudden, Timothy and his train were switched onto a branch line, but no matter how much his crew tried to stop him, Timothy kept going. Timothy went faster and faster and screamed, I will send you all to the graveyard! He laughed the night he approached an unfinished viaduct. By this point, Timothy was going so fast that he ended up plunging over the viaduct into the valley below. Everyone on board the train was killed. Every year on the date of the accident, he runs again as a warning to others, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul. And that's the story of Timothy. I've never heard of that story all the time I've been in Vermont with y'all. Just me. If you haven't heard the story of Timothy, you're obviously not from Vermont. Though the way Tim put it doesn't exactly make sense. Oh, but it's true, my friend. After all, Dexter can back me up on it. Right, Dex? Oh, omelette du fromage. See, he knows it's true. I don't think so. He sounds aggravating. Tim, I don't believe that story myself. I believe in ghosts, yes, but not this story. Sucks to be, y'all. Dexter and I have a green signal anyways. Bye for now. The next morning, Tim and Kaz headed along the line with their train. The night was calm and signal showed free. Maybe we'll run into our resident ghost tank engine, Timothy! I doubt it. Hey look, there's a bridge ahead. Ah yes, this is the spot where Timothy died. I thought it was a quiet day. As a fog rolled in, they crossed the bridge before, then it happened. Oh, my climb over! It shut off! Mine too. Even more cliche. Oh, what the? Tam! Stop scaring me! That wasn't me, dude! I beg your pardon. Something truly awful happened.
Seconds later. Not backs, unless you're some knockoff from that one Thompson Friends B movie involving biofusion, blood, guts, and turning humans into machines. And let's not go there, Kaz. Keep it PG. True. Anyways, how are you on the track when you're not even the right gauge? And why do you have buffers? This is America, not Sodor. How many insults do you have? I, the ghost tree of Sora, will help you! I'm just getting started, buddy. The only thing bad that'll happen to us is that we'll be late. Yeah, this is getting ridiculously retarded! We should have been out of here by now. Tim, we could have been out of here a minute or two ago. Oh, wait. I'm not done with you yet! I haven't finished my unfinished business! You are my precious victims to present to my cringe religious master! Tell it a fiery, demonic, cancerous dimsum! Tim and Kaz returned to North Adams later that morning. Kaz was telling her tale to Willie and Laura. And then Tim and I ran into this sorry excuse for a ghost train. Gee, that sounded like something that some lousy creator wrote to try and scare little kids. Yeah, and those kids thought it was scary enough to copy those stories into their own versions. What's all the ruckus about? Clyde? Didn't Dexter tell you about Kaz and Tim's encounter with Timothy and that whole ghost story? Timothy? Oh no, not that story again. How lousy is Tim's driver to come up with a story like that? Besides, Tim didn't tell you the story right at all. Just ask Clive. So, there was a real engine named Timothy who fell over a bridge? Yes, there was a Timothy. But he didn't fall off a bridge, nor was he a British tank engine. Timothy was an H2 switcher from the Boston and Maine who worked in a little switchyard. He longed to venture out of the yard to see what lay beyond, but he was quite the run of the roundhouse and all the bigger engines had put him down for it. Man, he was really singing the blues. So, what happened to him? One day, Timothy was resting in a shed when alarm suddenly sounded everywhere. A runaway freight train was a mile away from entering the yard and posing danger to the nearby engines. 
Timothy bravely got onto the line that the runaway train was on, and he used himself as a barricade to slow it down. But this train pushed him a good ways down the yard, and he didn't stop until he ran into the back of another train. His tender and front end were crushed, but everyone was proud and grateful for Timothy's braveness. So as a reward, his wish became true. He was rebuilt into an experimental H8 consolidation using the tender from a USRI Mikado. And ever since then, he worked branch line freights for a long time. So, he didn't die? Of course he didn't, Buckaroo. He survived it all and lived to tell the tale. Live? You mean he's still around? Where is he? Yep, he's alive and well, and grateful to be working here. Timothy lives here? Does the story sound familiar? Familiar? What do you mean? No. That can't be true. Clive, is it? It's true, Kaz. Timothy was my original name when I got into that wreck. My name was changed to Clive because, as I said, I was so bouncy and quirky that it quickly led to me being ousted by the others. And I prefer not to remember those days. I told him to tell you what he did because, well, he noticed that you were becoming bored of normal night trains. He wanted y'all to have some fun. Then, what was that thing we saw? We gave Tim's core projector and some speakers to cast lights into the fog so it looked like a real ghost. It was just all lights and sounds. So, y'all set me up for this? Well, at least you weren't bored, were ya? Then there was no ghost train after all. Well, I wouldn't say that. But I shouldn't say more, because, as we all know, some things are best left unsaid. Central Rail and machine Fire, smoke and steam